Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you an Envy wig. This one is called Denise, and the color on Denise today is one of my most popular highlighted browns. This is Amaretto and Cream, also sometimes just called Amaretto Cream. So you can take a look at that. Now you may notice that on this label, it has a little B after it. Um, and what that really indicates is that the color distribution on Amaretto and Cream on some Envy wigs um, is a little bit different than it is on others. And so this is the alternate highlighting pattern, which indicates that it's still very classic, um, but it's basically almost all concentrated towards the front and at the topmost layers. So it's a very fashion sort of highlight distribution pattern. I actually think it works really beautifully in this style. It really brings out the most of different layers and the razor texture of this classic wedge style. So let's get right down to it. The front on this wig, I would say that the bang on this is probably about a little less than five inches. Let's, let's see if my guess is correct. Handy dandy tape measure. It's five. All right, so it's a little off, but it's it's five inches. Um, so from the crown down, it's six point seven five. The sides are three point seven five, and the nape is two point five. So it is quite short in the back, which I'll show you. It has a nice amount of body up here near the top. And in that regard, to me, it looks very much like the pictures. Um, and you can kind of see it has lots of razored ends. Envy does a lot with that kind of texture. Um, and I actually think that that's really cool because you have lots and lots of, of neat layering throughout this wig, as you do with many Envy styles. It's a great little summer wig. has a lace front. I'm gonna zoom in on that lace front. A lot of people are worried about Envy wigs because I gave such a negative review of the hand-tied wigs. I think their lace fronts are actually done pretty well. This is dark knotting and as you can see, hopefully that, that will focus. Those knots are not huge. They're, they're very well done. So the hair is trapped under here. Let me fix that. The only thing about the lace front that I would ch change, um, I'll actually show you when I take the cap off. Here's a look at this color. Very, very beautiful color. The highlight shade on here, um, I believe is the Envy Light Brown. So very, very pretty, but the more golden of the two Envy Light Brown shades. And the base is a dark brown. Here is what Denise looks like from the side. Let me play with this layering just a little bit since I haven't really styled it. But it does look a lot like the manufacturer picks. Um, I'm definitely not disappointed there. Here's the back and it's quite stretchy. And very short down here at the nape. And because it has a standard top, you can part it anywhere you want. There's that. And then, that's my wig cap. That's my fault. But pretty decent coverage here on the sides, and you even have a little bit of hair that sticks down below the ear tabs to be a nice little cover for that sideburn area. So that's a nice touch. All in all, I think that this is a very cute little style. I'm gonna go ahead and take Denise off so you can see what the cap construction looks like. Here's the, the pro plus con of, of the lace front on this wig that I was discussing. The con is the shape of it. That's, that's all. Um, because it's, it's just this very rounded area here, it does take a little bit of patience to put it on. Um, because it's rounded at the front, like perfectly rounded. So when you put it on, it doesn't have any cap 
to really latch onto here on the side. So it basically just kind of rolls under. So you just have to, and I'll show you when I reapply it, but you just have to kind of hold it in place and then lay it flat and slick it down. It's, it's not a big deal. It's just not as um, throw it on and go as some of the other lace fronts we carry. Um, the cap is very comfortable. Um, it has felt right here past this lace front. And the lace front, by the way, is very generous. So it almost gives you the appearance of a mono uh, filament top. Um, probably will cover about a third of the cap with that monofilament. So you can part it in any direction and it'll give you that little hint of monofilament in part of that part for added realism. It's got permatease, but not a ton. It's basically located right here at the crown and you can see that from the um, interior of the cap. It's this little crescent area that's indicative of where that permatease is located. So it's not permatease abuse, which is good. Very, 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 very stretchy back. Um, and it is adjustable. Um, I have it let out for the purposes of this review. The ear tabs um, aren't my favorite. They're very loosey-goosey. I like stiff ear tabs. And there's a little bit of permatease on the interior, which again is like, why? Um, but again, not a deal breaker. It's just kind of like one of those things that makes you go, hmm. And then here up close is that color in natural lighting, that is sunlight coming in. So you can see how pretty that dark brown is, and it's very dark down here at the bottom. This is the nape. But at the top, you do get that really beautiful golden light brown highlight. Very, very pretty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put Denise back on. I'm also gonna scoot my chair back just a smidge so you can get the whole thing in here. Okay, so I've got the, the back in place. So what I was talking about is you just lift this up, make sure all the hair is out from underneath that lace front, and then lay it flat. Because a lot of times with lace fronts, the way that they're positioned isn't perfectly rounded like that. And so it gives you a place in the cap where there's like an angle and the lace front just kind of sticks to that angle. Um, this does not have that. There is a little bit of shedding going on here, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Um, as long as it's just a little, you don't want a lot. I haven't detected anything that abnormal. So, is that? that's where my wig cap is. So the, the, I forgot to point out where the monofilament is. Monofilament ends right around there. So that gives you that entire area um, with a little bit of hand tied action. This has been Denise by Envy in the color Amaretto and Cream with the B highlight distribution. Not a huge difference between the two though, I just wanna add. Um, the only real difference is that slightly more of the highlighting is concentrated towards the front, whereas in the regular highlight distribution, it goes all the way around the top. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.